and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and share and comment. If you're an OG, thank you so much for returning. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make honey jerk lamb chops. And right now I'm just seasoning up my lamb chops with some jerk seasoning that I found at my local grocery store and some salt. And then we're, we're going to go in with a little green seasoning. Now, you can make your own green seasoning if you want to, but I did find this green seasoning on Amazon when I purchased my wet jerk seasoning, okay? I'll try to list that below in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing. So once you get all of your seasonings on, you want to make sure that you massage uh, the seasonings and the green seasoning into your lamb chops. If you have time, I recommend that you marinate your lamb chops overnight in the fridge. If you don't have time, like I didn't have time today to do that. So all I did was marinated it for about maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And I just let that sit on the countertop. Again, if you have time, do that overnight. If not, 30 minutes to an hour is perfectly fine, okay? And that's what you want it to look like once you're done. So now we're gonna go in with our cast iron skillet and we're gonna go in with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and also a couple of tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better, okay? <laughs> I'm going to cook my lamb chops until they are medium well, okay? I cook my lamb chops like I cook my steaks. I do not like tough meat, like talking about. And if you cook your steaks or your lamb chops too long, they do tend to come out a little tough. So medium well is perfect for me, but you cook it to whatever temperature you would like for it to be. It's your kitchen, your way, your style, okay? So once you have gotten your lamb chops all brown and seared on both sides, you're gonna remove that. And what you see left over, that is flavor, okay? No need to wash out your cast iron skillet. So I went back in with another couple of tablespoons of butter and then maybe about three fourth cups of soy sauce. And now I'm going in with my wet jerk seasoning, okay? Again, I'm going to list that down below in my description box. You just wanna give that a good stir. And then we're gonna go in with our garlic cloves and our thyme, fresh thyme, and fresh rosemary. If you don't have that, dry thyme and dry rosemary will be perfectly fine. And then I went in with a couple of tablespoons of honey. You're gonna give that a good mix and then we're gonna return our lamb chops back to this delicious sauce that we have created in our cast iron skillet. And this, y'all, is a picture of beauty in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> So I just set my lamb chops up on a cutting board and then I went in with a little bit more of the sauce that I did have left over in my cast iron skillet, okay? Again, these were absolutely delicious and I hope you all decide to give this a try. If you do, please let me know in the comment section below how you like them, okay? Remember when you're on my channel and you're cooking, you're always favorite with flavor. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Remember, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video upload from me.